Hello, I've decided to just start recording another episode. It won't be too long, but a lot of interesting stuff's happening. Um, so I beat Brain of Cthulhu in a different world. It wasn't very hard. And hopefully before this one I'm going to upload my winning attempt at uh, Eater of Worlds, which was not fun. But I did it, and obviously I got the pet. The slime rain's happening right now, so we're doing that. I think that's about all that's really happening. Uh, I'm also building a Crimson Underground Desert Biome Box, and that's taking a little while, but I hope to get that done tonight before I do dishes. IRL, for this. As you can see, I've set myself up with Meteor and uh, Space Gun. I'm a little late on the train for this, and by a little, I mean quite literally, like, what, like six years too late. Didn't this become like a major strat back in like 2013? Anyway, <laughs> um, just the update that this thing's nerfed, I decided to start using it. And it's still doing pretty well for me. I used it to be the Brainy Cthulhu. It didn't take that long. Two tries. Second pinky in like 10 minutes, by the way. The other one I found in the underground desert. I used to think pinky could only appear on the surface, but obviously I'm wrong. Or obviously that notion is wrong. This is basically King Slime hard mode right here because Slime's gonna be constantly dropping on top of this so I can't just run away and uh, keep from getting attacked by other slimes at all. In fact, one of these down there I'm gonna try to attack the slimes up here. others. <laughs> I'll organize these later. And there's actually enough to start worrying about. I can just sell.
Alright, I am back audibly. Let's go do the thing. This is probably going to be a little boring, and I know that for a fact because it's boring to me, but it's going to be important to have for the future. I'm also going to have to make an above ground crimson biome box, but I can do that later. Here's the start of it. My current goal is just, you know, setting this part up. Getting, uh, glass where glass needs to be. So that I can have a clear border. Because technically the glass isn't necessary, I just like to have it. Excess glass, so I can also make an above ground from some bottom box. But that's not for now. I'm kind of shocked and a little upset. I have not found a or not had a blood moon yet. Blood is what I tried to say. Instead, I said born. Like someone trying to... someone misspelling Blumhouse. Yeah, I've only seen one Blood Moon in the entirety of my experience with 1.4 so far. They tried to make the uh, sound for the space gun less annoying, but I'm not sure if they made it less or more annoying. Oh god, I see what's happening here. That antlion keeps stepping on a dart trap thing that's spawning a skeleton by proxy. Tell if that's smart or incredibly stupid of that antlion. Yeah. Oh my god, how many skeletons are there? I love that that's a thing. I mean, it's so useless, but I love it. How high does it go?
Is it? Okay, it's not infinite, but it's pretty damn high. Actually, I might even end up using this because... God, it, it registered the torch as a proper block to place that snake. In case you're curious, the reason I'm breaking all this wall around the area is so that the crimson doesn't spread outside and corrupt the entire desert. When, uh, when we're in hard mode. Because the spying box isn't even going to work until hard mode. I do believe the range of my hammer is long enough so that any any block I break in that range is enough so that it can't spread. Because they can spread in background walls, so or it can spread in background walls. No, well, I, I guess it's they because. Corruption, Crimson, and Hollow all do this.
either a tomb crawler or another giant worm. I don't know what's causing it to take damage when I take damage. Yeah, I genuinely don't know. Maybe my hammer is hitting it. Now, I'm going to be more precise and knock out these remaining, like, exterior walls. And then we should have a fully functioning biome box. Just one that's not ready yet. Should be good. Just doing this because I feel like it. And there's our biome box. Is it pitifully small? Yes. Will it work? Who knows?
And this is how I'm going to make the biome box function. Where did that money come from? I'm just going to put a small core of brimstone in here. A little bit of crim time just for show. Probably decorate this more off screen. Going to hard mode should spread to the rest of us and turn it cr crimson. And I do want an above ground biome box as well. So what I'm gonna do is fucking die. <laughs> Aside from that. jumping out of the sandstorm. scorpions. That was about. Good thing to note is that I give zero shits about making it symmetrical, I just want it to exist. We need to go farm some more uh, sand, aren't I? I'm not making it small. Does this thing 
even have knockback. Extremely weak. Taken. Should be more than enough. Yeah. Twenty nine gold. Okay, I should probably turn that in in just a little sec. What? <laughs> what just happened? one from the inside. Good on my word. I couldn't have that single piece showing. All right, we'll finish that in the future. Thank you. 
so now I'm going to go head off towards the dungeon, which is on the left, and it's also a blue dungeon. Fuck. My life. I just slam into a bird. Anyway, the reason I'm upset about that is because, as I said in the video with Sander and Joe, I do not... I haven't had a pink dungeon in years, maybe my entire Terraria experience, I'm not sure. But I definitely want a pink dungeon. Maybe in the Crimson World that I made so that I could fight for any Cthulhu if there's a pink dungeon that we can explore. That's been a while. Yeah, here's where it happens. The eventual... I have a feeling I can do it a lot easier now because of the space gun. But then again, I don't know. There's more damage. 14 plus 10 is 24 or 27, so. Yeah, the space gun would help a little bit. But its pierce isn't infinite. It's only 3, I think, so. I need to find more underground snow to explore. Also, can you tell I'm stalling so that I don't have to go hellstone farming? Because <laughs> if it's not obvious, I am. But I also genuinely don't really want to go down to hell again until I have shadow key. There's really nothing good in those shadow chests, but I don't know. I always feel like I need to. Who no, knows, maybe there's something new for 1.4 that I don't know of. Fucking Wimdy. I'm just grabbing this so I can build an arena here. Okay, sure. I'm going to stick with my general strategy for uh, Skeletron, which is uh, Flail and Hope. And by Flail, I don't mean use the weapon Flail, I mean Flail around like a fucking maniac. This extra Skeletron hits me in the ass every time. And I only had to get good for him for... Calamity, Revenge, Slash, Death. Can I? I can. I 
want to check something. Never mind. Damn. I was hoping I could turn it into uh, shelves like these. I'm gonna steal so that I don't have to waste more of my own. A word for wood for a second. <laughs> I just realized there's a water candle there. I've already checked and none of these uh are water boats, I believe. Got me a whole extra layer, maybe, if I'm lucky. not finished yet. Uh, I might fight Skeletron tonight anyway, because I want to see how well I fare, and I, I'll just lose a gold if I die, so... I just left him to build a little bit more. Got like a minute and a half. I should, if this doesn't work, build another column to this. everything up.
25 seconds. Hey, Bella. Hey, doggo. You gonna support me? You gonna support me? Is that what you're gonna do? Is that why you're here? I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Alright. Stop. Oh yes. Got 64 fucking damage. Oh my god. I don't know what to do. <laughs> He's just so fucking fast. I might move uh, these. I might move these two over, like here. Okay, it's very helpful. Yeah, I might move those guys over there so that I can have a good, convenient uh, method of teleporting back to Skeletron. At least once I get a pylon going up here, but. Problem is, I think no one here actually feels like selling one because everyone's happy, right? happy then maybe uh, get some shit going here I don't get it Why does no one want to give me a pylon? These are all for the NPCs. <laughs> I like being here. I dislike so many people being close to me. What the hell? Bro. Um. Okay. Guess I need to check on something real quick. Yeah, I figured. I'm going to quickly increase the size of the window just slightly. Does that help? Do it a little more. Perfect. Alright. The video should look better now. Looks like he was climbing up too. <laughs> also, prepare for me to ditch this worm when we get to uh, Pumpkin Moon because the moment I can get the cursed sapling, I'm using it all the way through because that is Jimmy. If you watched my Subnautica shit, I named a. I named a lava lava Jimmy. And Jimmy. They're one and the same, <laughs> in my book. 
Waddle Over and Chris Sapling in it. They're the same little friend of mine. There's no lore with him, he's just there. I like him. So my goal is to get Jimmy back in this playthrough. I need to find a Jimmy in every game I play that has like random items and creatures that you can bring along with you. are going to go over here. Should I, should I see about the jungle? Should I see if the jungle is, like, doable right now? Queen Bee Battle. The thing is, Queen Bee is like my nemesis. She's like super fucking hard. At least in my personal opinion, she's like not okay in terms of difficulty. do like 40 something damage to me. Thirty, thirty damage for a stinger. That's oh boy. This song is just really, really good. I love it. Too bad you can't hear it over the space gun. Uh, 
I've always liked most of the jungle. Well, I, I've always liked the jungle thing. It's one of very few songs in the game that never actually gets old to me. But I'm really glad to have some variation. And have both a night and underground theme for the jungle. really awkward trying to dodge hornets and then trying to dodge spike jungle slimes because their projectiles are so much slower but they look and sound super similar. And it's not the game lagging, that's just how slow they are. It's like really, really slow. Then you have hornets who do this. They don't poison you. Which is probably why the spike jungle slimes shoot slow. Because their poison hurts. As opposed to hornet poison, which is completely painless. Cyanide. Before you know it, it's already over. flee like a little bitch. I was very scared because I thought my Crimson Heart was the, uh... Oh, nest. Fall. Yes, it is. We have max red health now. There's another life crystal, so we can start working on uh, heart lanterns. favorite class, to be honest. I'm only using magic weapon because it's kind of broken. Please fall into the water, please fall into the water. Yes. 
Yeah, if a beehive falls into water or any other liquid, it doesn't make any bees. Oh! That is a cup of coffee that just dropped from no man eater. Man eater. That was your luck. talking about because I've done it before. No, don't do it, you have so much to live for. Is that the fucking entrance? I don't think it is. Alright. No beehives yet. Hair cell. Sadly, you can't break these things with anything less than, I think, a Pixar. skill. I like that they don't poison on contact. That's fair. I must have that egg skill bone. Bone skeleton. As opposed to a skeleton that's not made of bones. I'm gonna get what it means. It's kind of funny to think that they're referring to a skeleton made out of bones, which is abnormal for skeletons. Right. That is the singular thing that I don't like about underground jungles, is when they aren't fully interconnected.
Here's a beehive. I hate that these are genuinely a huge threat. Okay, when it hits like 5 p.m., I'm going to head straight in. Because I do want to fight Skeletone Drawn again. I don't want to wait, wait a huge amount of time before doing so. this queen bee later. Now I'm going to zoop. This is a big one. I have skin hunter, might as well. I try and make a region, but I don't remember what they cost. I don't want to waste time looking it up. Thank you. 
There we go. That's... Oh! That was really satisfying. Holy shit. I'm glad I've been watching Chippy, otherwise I wouldn't have known that strategy. Holy fuck. My heart is racing, even though that wasn't that bad. <laughs> that was actually easier than Revengeance Mode. Skelebone. Although really, I shouldn't be surprised about that. Immediate bewitching table? Who's gonna complain? That was awesome. That was actually fucking awesome. I'm really proud of myself. Beyond happy. And I'm cursed. <laughs> Shit. Man, cursed souls. Cursed souls, yes. Cursed sully from monsters. Cursed skulls suck a lot more now. frames there. I'm 
excited to actually be exploring a 1.4 dungeon legitimately instead of in the god mode, journey mode. Because there is, in case you don't know, there's a new mechanic with dungeons. I won't spoil it until we encounter one. Well, that was kind of stupid. Here it is. You need to be very careful there. Because... Oh, it's not... I thought that was a trap. I guess it's just a... Those skulls hit me, though. Dungeon Slime, nice to see you. Yeah, there are secret breakable walls and floors here. No, one of them picked up money, so it's going to be back. Good. Anyway, Skeletron. for this weapon. They honestly should have buffed it a little bit. But hey, they didn't. They probably had a reason. Well, hey. He immediately looked like, oh god, what are you doing to me? Did something I had sell for that much? Or did Master Mode, for whatever reason, not take all my money? Because that's the thing, Master Mode is supposed to make sure that 100% of the money that you have drops on death. of light slowed down in the water. Why? It doesn't make much sense. 
gnome, though. I want to fight the gnome. Gnome. I think that sells for something, so I'll keep it around. I'm really getting tired of not having a blood moon because I need to kill blood zombies. I think. Are they? I think they are not. I think they are not. Need to look this up. Sorry that the game just suddenly paused. No, I think they're hard mode. I'm not sure. I need to keep looking. It might not be. I don't know. They are not hard mode. It's good enough. So I could, if I get a blood moon, ever, be able to get a money trough, which is definitely something I need. because I'm super close to being able to make a part of the goblin tech, I think. Or a part of the GPS. Is it the tennis? No, it's... The PDA. Yeah, the PDA. But yeah, I think the... I'm really close to getting the goblin tech and... Something else. Was it... The GPS. I think it might be the GPS. <laughs> depth meter. I think the GPS is depth meter? It's... Compass. And maybe stopwatch. I'm not... I'm not positive. I think the Goblin Tech consists of uh, GPS meter, radar, and maybe the middle temperature. I might be able to just make it now. Also very well could be the radar, metal detector, and... Uh, whatever the thing is that can find rare enemies. Totally forgot the name of that. He's bones. Deep down inside, we're all those little bones. That is a dungeon slime with my money. Ghost, bring back my money. That is not a dungeon sign. Oh my god. I've scarcely ever been more afraid than just them. Right, right then. Knowing you. I'm really 
really upset that Plan Terror is necessary. Like, I really wish she could be skipped. You don't even know how much I wish she could be skipped. Because if she could, then I know a way to skip her. Don't show this multiple times in this channel. Strategy, I guess. Can't really call it a secret. It's not a secret. If you shoot a uh, caster enemy, no matter what, if you shoot them once, they're not gonna attack until they teleport. Bone zone. It's the bone zone. Uh, ah. Never, never breathe a sigh of relief in this game. It will come back to bite you in the ass. living underground, so I should probably go down and build a quick house for him. I don't want to be fucking cruel. Oh, Cedric. I do believe- what? Is that a ruby squirrel? Why is that here? There's like not even a ruby gem corn thing around here. Ruby gem tree is what I should have said if I wasn't having a stroke. I need to make another quick gem tree farm. I should make a quick gem tree farm. 
need to have one of every tree down here. And that's so that I can pull the best area. in the snow biome for her. than I thought. I think I'll do that. Because I do want to... I do want to do what I was... what I said I was going to do in my world with Xander and Joe. That being make a house filled with animal cages. Like a research station. Oh. I don't need glass kill. I'm gonna make it though. That also means I need to catch one of every critter, including gold critters. Which is, uh, yeah, not gonna be super easy. To put it lightly. That includes a motherfucking truffle worm. Dragonfly, green dragonfly, blue dragonfly. The only ones I'm missing are yellow and yellow and something else. Yellow and black. Time for me to go get even more sand. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's just go do that now. I feel like it. Scorpion, I don't have one of those. Don't charge into it. And the 32 sand is a new terrarium. That'll be enough for side me for a little bit. I lied. And now just I'm putting this gnome here as an experiment to see if it will move. So I genuinely don't know. Like, I don't know if this gnome is going to wake up or what.
and after I make the mechanic a house, I'm probably going to get off. Not in that way. Because I do have dishes to do. And I've also made a lot of progress today, so... I'm proud enough of myself to say I can... I can go and pick this back up some other time, probably tomorrow. I'm gonna keep these here, because they're pretty. Not exactly sure what killed that zombie, but I'm gonna work for it. Oh, it did. See, these zombies are apparently not female. Like they're apparently just the male zombies with twigs in their heads, but they just a little female. So I don't know. I just can't see the standard male zombie in there. Do I have wooden beams? I oh, can't have wooden beams here. We can do that in the future. For now, she'll just have a floating house, I guess. Also going to be a cock to mechanic by giving her a skull lantern too to give her PTSD. And yeah, she's gonna be happy. It's game mechanics triumph over emotions. gem corns, we'll plant them, and I will sign off. Okay, topaz. Just in case, I'm gonna make another sapphire, another emerald. I already have emerald. Make an amber. Make a diamond. It might be it, actually. Ruby, sapphire, emerald. Diamond, Amethyst, Topaz, Amber. I think that's all the trees. I should really just go to the desert and use the pylon. happy. Yeah. I'll remove this torch after. Give them ample room to grow.
Alright. Should be good. Take that. And that away. Maybe even that. It should all grow at a pretty fast rate. And we will have an infinite source of uh, shit. Stuff and things. See if this wall just does anything new. No. I have to try the whistle. Let's see what it's like. Yeah, I'm keeping it. down in the other city. Okay. That is the new problem with the town system, is that the traveling merchant can just go whichever city he feels like. I like the red slime clip. It's kind of cool looking. <laughs> and, uh, it just looks like a mini devourer of gods, and I like that. I'm naming your dog. Alright. <laughs> That's the end of this. Uh, I never have a good way to end these episodes, so I'm just going to do this.